Okay, p squared minus 6 over 3p plus a plus 2p squared plus 5p minus 3 over 3p plus a minus 3p squared plus p minus 4 over 3p plus a. What's the first thing we do, guys? Not yet. First of all, you recognize what? Yes, Shane? We put the parentheses in. That's right. So everybody please go ahead and do that. Put the parentheses in. And that's going to make your life a lot easier. Okay, then what do we notice? What operation symbols are these, guys? Yes, Jordan? Plus and minus. We're adding here, we're subtracting there. So we're not going to be multiplying, dividing, the rules are slightly different. A lot Now some people went ahead and tried to factor this. The, what, yeah, you factor that when you're doing the multiplying and dividing stuff. Do you know what I mean? Remember the question number two and three, when, when this factored? That was for the, that kind of question. For this, when we're adding and subtracting, we're going to find the common denominator and then collect the like terms. That's a bit different, so you don't want to factor, at the beginning anyway, you don't want to factor the numerator in the adding and subtracting problems, okay? So be careful of that. Understand, that's why I keep telling you, what operation is it? Because then if you know that, hopefully you remember some of the other stuff. Okay, Arthur, what's our first step? Did you try to do this all in one step? What's our common factor? Three, three common factor eight. is 3p plus 8. Excellent. 3p plus 8 is the common factor. So now we've written the common factor, the lowest common denominator. What about the numerator? What's the numerator? Keep going, Arthur. What do we put at the, at the uh, top? 1p squared plus 2p squared plus 5p. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, hold on. Uh, you know, you're, in other words, you're just writing everything across yeah. here. But what about here? We gotta be careful about that part, right? You distribute the negative, that's right. Yeah. And so this becomes negative three P squared, what else? Christian? Negative three P squared minus P plus four. Good, and see if you do it in one fell swoop, you've got it all there. All nice and concise and neat and everything's cool. Now what's our next step? Please guys, tell me you remember my suggestion. Yes, Lorena. Put it in descending order. Yes, exactly. Put them together. Put the p squareds together. Right? Take the time to organize your stuff, your, your material. And then everything else will fall into place. And don't forget, this is negative 3p squared that time. And we can plus 5p minus 1p um, minus 6 minus 3 plus 4. All the numbers go together. All of that, and you keep having to write 3p plus 8. You don't want to forget anything. So why everything is logical, everything makes sense. Anybody know what we would do now? Combine like term. Combine like term. All of these equal what? Zero. Zero. That's right. Because p squared plus 2p squared is 3p squared minus 3p squared. So we've got that. What about 5p minus 1p? 4p. 4p. And then negative 6 minus 3 plus 4? Minus 5. There you go. It's easy as that. Now, can you can you simplify this at the end? No. No, there's nothing you can do to simplify. The problem is done. So this long, big, huge problem wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. As long as you remember to simplify, as long as you remember to put the parentheses up there, distribute the negative, collect like terms in the way that you know how, which is to organize them properly, and really it came out quite nicely. 10 dash five, or are you just stretching? 10-5 is what? Can anybody describe what this is? Does anybody have the title of this section? Do you remember what it is, Jason? Adding and subtracting. Adding and subtracting. Okay. Subtract so you read the board. Good. That's excellent. Um, adding and subtracting rational expressions with unlike denominators. In other words, they're not the same. It makes it harder, doesn't it? So what do we have to do first? And th we, this doesn't change what we do first. What's our first thing, Lorena? Parentheses. Parentheses. Around what? We don't put it around the numbers. No. But we definitely put it around here and here. Fine. Next step. How do we simplify from there, Lorena? Well, you have um, perfect squares. Yep. Right we there. have. So it would be y plus 3 and y minus 3. That's right. So we factor the difference of squares, OK? and rewrite it with y minus 3, y plus 3. Again, that should be almost like second nature now, guys. You should see those binomials, difference of squares, and think y minus 3, y plus 3, okay? So having done that, how do we now find the common denominator? Yes, Shane? You can multiply the left equation by y plus 3. Right, top and bottom right. So 
That's good. She's one step, slightly one step ahead, but what is the common denominator? What is the thing that I write? Now when I go like this and I write a big line under here, what do I write? Yes. Um, do you have somebody, do you know? Do you have your hand up? Should we say on the right hand? Uh, Arthur. Y minus 3, Y plus 3. That's right. Y minus 3, Y plus 3. That is the lowest common denominator. Okay? Because y minus 3, y plus 3 divides into that, and y minus 3 also divides into that, right? Okay, um, go ahead, Sebastian, describe what we're doing here. Okay, we need you, to compensate. You How multiply it by, by 1 in the form of y plus 3 over y plus 3. Excellent. Okay, good. We multiply it by value 1 in the form of y plus 3 over y plus 3 to compensate. So now we have everything evened out. Now we go ahead and work with the numerator. What do we do, Jason Robbins? What do we do? The numerator. Five minus six. No, not yet, because we got the y plus three now, right? So we got to go five. Five y plus 15 minus 30. Okay, but you're going ahead too quick. <laughs> it's five times y plus three minus 30. Okay? Why do we have the y plus three? Because yeah, how do you get the five? Why do we get the y plus three? That's great. That's a good question. That's why. Jordan, go ahead. Okay. So you can make the denominators the same. Right. Right. And Christian, is that what you were gonna say? No, I'll ask a question actually. Okay, good. What's your question? How is y squared minus nine y plus three y minus three? Oh, how is y squared minus nine? Oh, y squared minus nine is y minus three y plus three. Go ahead, Leon. Because when you FOIL it out, then that's what you get your y squared yeah. plus minus nine. Different, we factor by difference of squares. So y times y equals y squared and then negative three times y times y. Yeah, if you were to go back and back this out, y times y is y squared, y times three is three, and then negative three y. Okay, still working at trying to figure out what, yeah, you got it. Basically, we want the common, we've got a common denominator, y minus three, y plus three. And to get this part of this to be the common denominator, you've got to multiply by y plus three over y plus three. You got to, mathematical principles don't allow you to just multiply by y plus three. You know what I mean? I mean, just visually, you can see that you got to multiply by y plus 3 so that this looks like this. Okay? Visually, you can see that. But mathematically, you can't just do that. You can't just randomly put a 1 over y plus 3. You know what I mean? You have to go by principles and balance and go, okay, if we multiply the bottom by y plus 3, then, Jason, then we've got to multiply the top by y plus 3 as well. And that's why it's 1 in the form of y plus 3 over y plus 3. Okay? Lots of practice is needed for this stuff. Okay, we're almost done. As um, yeah. as Jason Wolf said, then you can do that now, Jason. Go ahead. Y plus 3 over Y plus 3. It's 1 in the form of Y plus 3 over Y plus 3. Anyway, going right along here, Jason, go ahead and finish this off. It's 5 Y plus 15, right? Minus 30. Yep. Over Y minus 3 Y plus 3. Yep. And that'd be 5 Y uh, plus 15. Wait, minus 15? Yep. Over y minus two y plus three. Five y minus fifteen over y minus three y plus three. We're not done yet, are we? Or are we? No. 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 Why not? Uh, factor the top. Why do we get five and then y minus three? Yep. It ends the same. Okay. Good stuff. There we go. And our answer is what? Five over y plus three. Any questions? 